It's time, it's really time to end all war. Now, don't we all want that? War has been the theme of, of human history as we know it. War around the world, nation fighting against another nation. But what's really behind that? Because most people also know that it has nothing really to do that there's an enemy outside of us, which we need to conquer. Yeah, it's easy to fall victim to that, to get blinded by that. Which is, well, in all honesty, you also got to understand that this is a, a technique that is used by those in power to distract the masses of what's really going on. And that's the fact that, uh, yeah, the masses have been divided against each other. We fight each other, so we don't notice that it's all a power game. The rich getting richer, that's all they care about. War is business. Poverty is politically desired, politically wanted. So what can we do? I'm going to these uh, events here in Mainz, Germany. Every Monday there is a Mahnwache für den Frieden. Like it's a peace rally or just a peace meeting for yeah, people talking about well, peace, they're not really talking so much about peace, they're talking about the problem, you know, about the corruption, about the politicians, about the injustice that is happening in the world, how one government is starting another war somewhere else to benefit themselves. I really believe we cannot win the war on this level. Actually, there is no war. I really believe it's time to make peace, and that starts from within ourselves. To end all war is where we, in our own life, learn to make peace within ourselves, and then to pe make peace with our environment. And the people in our lives who are difficult for us to deal with, we all have that, and with that we can make peace. As we learn, which is also a very important realization, is that we cannot change other people. The most important realization it is, also extremely difficult to put that into practice, but who said this is easy? Actually, this is the most difficult thing in life you can ever do, but also the most important thing because that's where real peace begins from within ourselves. A demonstration against the injustice also, I believe, will not bring us much further. Of course, it helps. A lot of good things are done in this world by, by active people who are involved in activism and signing petitions against certain laws that are passed down by lawmakers which are terrible and just causing more harm to people and animals and our environment. Still, the powers that control this world always existed, and these powers are blinded by greed, which all comes out of fear. The theme of human history is the struggle between the darkness and the light, the love and the fear. Now, I believe it's time to put an end to this struggle, to, or in order to really create a peaceful world that begins from within ourselves as we begin to be peaceful towards others. It takes a lot of work, but the good news is we can practice every day, because practice makes mastery. And uh, every day we, have, they, we encounter situations that are difficult. We are with people who are triggering us. And, you know, we, normally we react in a negative way to them, but we can learn, we can practice to be better. As we know that we cannot change other people, we open ourselves up to them. Instead of arguing, we can learn them, we can get to know them in order to come together. We don't need to agree with the other person or not even necessarily like what the other person represents. But we all are in the same boat, so to speak. We all are human beings and we're all in here, here together to work it out. It's really about us, the people, our government leaders, our politicians. They're not going to do anything because they do like everybody else in this world, they do their job. They don't know any different. Terrorists don't know any different. Suicide killers don't know any different. Hitler didn't know any different. And these people, which we always point to, and it's very easy for us to point at the bad guy outside of us, to blame the bad guy, this only distracts us from the fact that the change of this world begins from within ourselves. To realize, to actualize, that we all want. And to not just realize that, which is a matter of becoming aware of that, but to know it in our hearts, you know, to know that there is no enemy, that there is no stranger, and love, real love, is the only thing that can help us come together as one.